Uh, tough game. Uh, what were your thoughts on the on the match? Um, yeah, it's a tough game because we, uh, when we turned over possession, they caught us on the counter and they did that well. Um, we analysed them and they had a lot more possession in the games that been, um, than what they did today. And they've got good players going forward. So it becomes a tough game because if you don't capitalise on, on the possession that you got and you get caught on the counter, um, it becomes uh, end to end. And, that's something that we need to improve on. Um, but in saying that, we played without a striker today. We didn't have our, our only striker. Um, young uh, Thomas Waddingham, he arrived yesterday morning from Spain after a 36 hour flight and just coming here. He slept all day yesterday by accident um, instead of doing recovery. And so we just made a decision you know, coming to the game that you know, there was no point in risking him because it, it is a risk especially when they fly 36 hours in uh, economy. Yeah, because you mentioned after the Australia Cup that it was going to be away with the Young Socceroos last week, and then um, the team sheet's coming on Thursday, and it's like, oh, he's named. <laughs> yeah, yeah. well, we thought, uh, if, look, to be fair, the we spoke to um, Football Australia. Uh, our club tried to get him uh, both, uh, I'm pretty sure, uh, tried to get him on in a business class seat. Um, I think he's the only player in that squad that's the first 11 player in the A-League. Um, but there were no seats available and you know, unfortunately, like I said, he was going to be in the squad, but we just decided it. And myself and the head of high performance that it was a big risk uh, for a young lad that you know, it's the first game of the season and, and we had to play differently. Uh, how hard was it not having him available today? Thomas? Yeah. There's four, there's four runs that you don't get, um, so we have to change things around, and, and yeah, things probably could have been different if uh, he was on the field. But in saying that, I thought that we we had um, I haven't seen the stats, but I think that we we had majority of the possession. We created a lot of good goal scoring opportunities. Um, again, I I think from from that game there. They caught us on the counter. There wasn't too many times that they played through us and then went on and, and had goal scoring opportunities, whereas I, I believe we did. Um, the football was was good. It's it's pleasing to see that that we're the football that we're playing, and um, you know it's, it's a good start to the season. Uh, VAR ended up being in for round one. Uh, Seventy seconds in, did you think that was a goal for Macarthur? I didn't see. Fair enough. Um, Set pieces. I saw Miljusnic and O'Shea both taking set pieces today. Um, obviously, your goal came from a set piece. Is that something that needs improvement in your eyes? Uh, no. 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 Um, and I guess there was talk in the off season as well about the heat and you know summer kickoffs have all been pushed back, but it was you know 27, 28 degrees of kickoff today, 30 degrees here today. Do you have any thoughts on that? Um, no, I welcome it. We're training the heat up in Brisbane, the humidity, so um, I hope they play against most teams in the heat. <laughs> I think we're better equipped for it. it. It did seem like during the game that MacArthur came out all guns blazing and you utilised the fact that heat and you know the, the conditions of the heat, you played for that full 90 minutes and saw after that goal from MacArthur, the game sort of switch momentum? Um, yeah, I... I it did, um, but I still think in the first half, like they came out and they um, they had that 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 chance or that goal scoring opportunity, and then I thought they were in total control of the first half. Apart from, again, uh, counter counter attack, well, for transitions, um, and and they were dangerous in the transitions. But you know, keeping possession and creating um, goal scoring opportunities, I think that you know for most of that game that we were in control. Um, Again, it's very difficult. We've brought a 16-year-old lad on, uh, another Queenslander in Rylan Brownlee. Um, we also brought uh, Jonas Markovsky on. He's had uh, limited experience also in, in the A-League as well. So it's, it's difficult. It really is difficult for players uh, that have had uh, well, actually no experience in the A-League. So, and I'm extremely proud of everyone, of, of all the players. Um, again, uh, I, I believe that we dominated that game uh, from, from start to finish. And I suppose with that, we talk about the possession, uh, possession we talk about the, the goal scoring chances. Does that plead to you the fact that you didn't have your, your main striker in the lineup? Do you go, okay, you know what, this is good building momentum yeah, forward? Absolutely. We don't, there's a lot of players that, uh, that still aren't uh, here, attacking players. 
so Thomas Waddingham wasn't here, um, Carlo Armiento uh, wasn't here, um, Jez Lofthouse is still coming, coming back, he's not too far away as well. Um, also uh, Shay Cahill, he needs the, uh, another young player, but these, these are players that, that can help change a game. Especially when um, you know when when we need the uh, probably the, the fresh legs, but like I said, you know I'm extremely proud of, of all the young lads that we've got in the team and, and the senior players. You know they really they really do fight for one another. It's a tremendous group. Um, I'm really enjoying the football that we're playing, uh, and it's a really good start uh, to the season. We saw two weeks ago against Sydney FC in Sydney Cup final. Um, you know a dominant first half. Uh, with, with some really uh, beautiful, attractive football being played, and, and once we get a striker back, then you know, hopefully things will be different. Uh, you play them in Brisbane next week on Friday night. Yeah. Uh, how are you feeling heading into that one? Uh, really excited, really excited. You know, the players felt hard done by uh, with a few uh, decisions. We spoke about that, um, and they can focus on on the negative. Or, or the, I I explained to them, or we can focus on us on how we can better ourselves. But for a player to go out and, and deliberately elbow uh, one of our players in the nose, uh, the way he did, and we saw um, in a pre-season game, the same player did it to a MacArthur player, probably worse than what he did uh, against our player. Um, you know, the, it, uh, the, the players are well aware of it, and they're extremely excited. You know, they, they, they're tired now, but I know that they can't wait for Friday night. And, We'll prepare ourselves as best we can and hopefully have an, uh, a few more players back. Is that something you've raised with Football Australia, that this is like, that, that uh, incident with Goldwood Reich is a secondary incident, since you just said it happened in the pre-season as well? So, I don't understand so, the question. Is that something you've raised with Football Australia and the referees? Raised? That, no, like, I, don't, I don't raise anything with the referees. There's, there's no point. Uh, you know, the game's gone. Um, so yeah, there's... There's just no point. It's like a player, you know, not talking during a game and then coming in the dressing room and screaming and yelling and carrying on. It's, it's pointless. So, you know, the, the game's done. Um, you know, I, I'm, I don't know if they were aware of it. You know, we saw it because we were analysing MacArthur and, and we saw the incident and it should be stamped out. Simple as that. You know, the, the, the game's changed. It's not 20 years ago or 15 years ago. The game's changed. So the VAR, uh, I'm sure if the VAR was at, at that cup final, which I understand that they can't be, we, we respect that, there would have been a dif different decision being made that, that night. Yep. Uh, any injury concerns coming out of today's game? No, no. Thanks, Jens. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks. Thanks.